What's up, ladies and gentlemen? We're back with some Minecraft really quick before we start heading into actually what I'll be doing this episode. I want to take a look at just some of the things that Yenathan managed to do with kind of remodeling the front of the house. I'm actually not sure if he did any more on the side or not. No, if my pillars are still there, he did not. We still have a bunch of stuff to add on the outside of the house, but as you can see, the front of the house actually has a way different look than I started with. So first and foremost, bitch. <laughs> first and foremost, we have frames around all the windows, which is all right. It's cool. Um, we have a big stained glass. Um, honestly, kind of reminds me. It kind of looks like a barn to me. It looks like a barn. And then we have here, I'm just gonna go into creative and make it, make it a little bit easier for you guys to kind of see and fly around. All right, so we got some major changes to some of the pillars. This one looks amazing because it's definitely structural as well as this one. We got some decoration on these pillars. The framed windows really gives it that like 3D, like it makes it look less like a flat wall. Let me see up here. We have a rail system, which I thought was really cool because I never even thought about adding that. And I believe he added a little bit of entrances like this one, for example. Um, so you can actually get on top, like you can walk through here on top of the stuff like that. Let me see. What else are we working with? He put a cross in the middle of here, which I mean, okay. I guess this can be uh, an extension of the church of Roosty as well. And these are pretty cool these staggered stairs to kind of make it look more like it's actually supposed to be here because we have a little bit of a open floor plan when it comes to over here. And I don't think there's anything that he did differently over here just yet, as well as the back. You know, this house is not done as, as well either. He's going to add some more houses, some more, you know, outside detail so it's not just like a big flat wall so what i kind of wanted to focus on this episode uh real quick is i kind of want to get a floor going but like i said it makes it a little bit difficult when these windows are in the way so potentially well no because then i would have to mess with his outside decoration so i think what's gonna happen more than likely, here, let me get out of creative mode. I think more than likely what's going to happen is the, well, the floors are going to be, floors are actually going to be dark oak. More than likely what's going to happen is I'm going to have to come up over the windows itself. So this is going to be like a very tall room. So we're going to get less floors than I would intentionally, like, like, thought of so we're gonna have less floors at the end of the day there's still just gonna have to be multiple rooms and we're gonna have to split this up somehow now i think one of the big things that's gonna be potentially an issue is just all the the random height of things it's gonna be uh, a fair a fair problem for this so let me see here we're gonna get a First layer started, I want to see this lands. This lands just like right above the door frame, which is going to look a little funny, but I'm sure that Unithin can fix it uh, where it looks good. It's always nice to have somebody uh, else to take a look at things and kind of kind of decorate and make, a, make another spin at actually trying to get everything as detailed and different as possible. Uh, for example, I was pretty exhausted, so I don't think I would have decorated near as well as Unithan did. And I believe this should just be a wall that goes up from here. So that way we just don't have to worry about actually looking in there. And then we should have uh, hit one block. Okay, so at that point we're going to have to knock one little layer off this. Which, no, that's not going to even make sense. So we're going to have to figure out another way to actually get down into this room or just completely block it off like it doesn't exist and make it look like, you know, I mean, because it's going to be an out, it's an outside feature, not 
does it necessarily have to be an inside feature but i mean like it would help so let me get a quick time lapse going and let's get this floor laid down and then we can start figuring out what to do next this is these episodes are going to be kind of short be about 20 minutes um so i can kind of stretch content out and figure out some ideas i know like the main thing that we're doing right now is finishing the base before we start doing other projects like for example um once i get unlocked channel members channel members are going to be able to actually come on my minecraft server and i'm going to don't hold me on this i'm going to try to see if i can get geysers mc to work so that way bedrock players can come play on this as well so i'll get back with you guys once we're done laying this floor all right so we got most of the floor done i want to figure out where the staircase placement is going to be because that's going to be quite the deciding factor on how we do everything yeah thorns the fucking a million bitch Oh fuck, I jumped out for no goddamn reason. Hold on. Uh, I think I need to extend the floor a little bit on the other side, and then we pro I have an idea for a stair set. Fuck off. I have a, a idea for a stair set, but I'm not 100% for sure if it's gonna be the best idea, or at least maybe the most efficient for space idea. We'll see what happens. Give me. <sighs> All right, so I think this should be work. So what I want to do, shit, okay, so I need to find the center of the room actually, which might be, well, not really center, but like, yeah, yeah, center. This is going to be like the center area that I need. I want to kind of do a little dirt just so I, I know that I'm aligned with what I'm trying to do. Okay, fuck off. All right, so, First and foremost, we actually just extend this all the way down, fuck it, right? And we'll do planks, because I'm out of dirt, so. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I want to come down from here. And then same concept all the way down. No. I'm incorrect about that, actually. Hold on. That is not the idea at all. Excuse me. That's not gonna work how I want it to work. So we're gonna change it. So I want a platform here, probably three blocks wide. Okay, so that gives me what I need to know and I can actually just take, a, you know, get rid of this stuff really fast. Didn't take super long, I got a pretty fast shovel. Cool. All right, so at that point, I need to come down. Essentially, I want like a two sided stair, like two sided stairs. If that makes sense. Like, I need to come down on the side here, all the way down to the floor. And then we would have that platform. Uh, as an above thing and see if we can make that work into something that actually looks nice and that's not just like a pile of garbage and matter of fact i might not even use might use a different block for the stairs instead of whatever we're normally using which is going to be dark oak because it all i mean fairly looks the same and so that's not exactly the intention because i do want it to look good at the same time However, I don't want to waste a lot of materials just to make something look fancy at the same time. So, let me see. Any, like, real decoration, like, stuff is really going to be handled by Yen. He's already have an idea. He already has an idea in his head, and I'm just going to lay out sort of what i need or sort of an idea that i want to do or try and then he should be able to take it from there he should be able to take it from there and get pretty much the the base idea uh get it complete speaking of yenathan big shout out to him he wants to 
he made his own channel. He has, uh, I think, one or two videos posted. So if you guys would do me a favor and check him out, he is a phenomenal builder on Minecraft, and I told him he probably should just go ahead and make a career out of interior design. If he does that, that's up to him. The only favor that I ask is please don't subscribe to him for another seven months because we have a six-month bet that he's going to get uh, surpass me in subscribers in six months. So if you guys would do me the favor of not subscribing for him for another seven months, that'd be great. <laughs> All right, let me figure out what material I actually want to use for the stairs and then just get some finishing touches like this right here. And we can go from there. All right, so one of the things I have a lot of is some nether quartz. A lot of, of the nether quartz is due to just like me um, wanting to get levels early game so I can get all my stuff enchanted, etc., etc. I think we're going to do that. However, I want to find some deep slate wherever I threw the rest of my deep slate. I need to buy some more. I just haven't got around to it. And I want to see if I can turn this into some deep slate. Yeah, some deep slate fence post and maybe make it look like that. And at the end of the day, the creative design is really going to be Jonathan. So he's probably going to fix whatever bullshit that I make. But I still want to give, uh, I still want to give it like my best shot. You know, I just don't want to leave everything up to him uh, to do by himself. So I do want to try to make it as uh workable as possible i want to make it look okay before he messes with it so you know at, at that point he's just improving it and not actually doing it does that make sense okay i don't think that looks too bad what would happen if i did this does that look weird I think that looks weird. Okay, so maybe something different for that. Not entirely. I, I don't have an idea in my mind what would, what would look good in that situation. So I'm hoping Yenithan has a better idea of what would look a little bit better than obviously quartz on the underneath on, on the underside. I really can't think of too much that would that would look super great. I don't think that looks terrible. However, I do think it looks pretty bulky. So I feel like it needs some more decoration. I just can't think of what to do for it. All right, moving on. I'm going to finish the floor so we get kind of the way this is set setting. I do want to be actually able to look. Oh yeah, that's a big thing too. I actually want to be able to look kind of down from this platform to see who's coming into the house. So I actually have to frame the floor a little bit weird. So it actually changes. It changes what I was going to do. Is this block? This block is not it. So I need to go. Let's just do it here. It'll be a little bit of a bigger space. So that's uh, three, three blocks away from the top stairs. One, two, three here. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Okay. Awesome. So now that I have something in my mind to actually be able to do this, I could continue filling in the top floor. Actually, quick change really quick. I feel like I made this a little too short. I need to come up one. So it doesn't, doesn't really look super great. It doesn't look super great having to add a second um, layer of steps there. So I need to come up just a little bit with this stuff and then probably just do something like this. See how that looks like down below. Still looks all right. I feel like it needs some more decoration. I just am not 110% sure what the best way to do that would be. It looks a little like flat and relatively the same color if that makes any sense so i feel like i haven't done this right i feel like something is missing and for the life of me i just cannot just think of what the fuck is going on i feel like the staircase design may or may not actually stay 
just because it does leave a pretty massive gap in everything and I mean, I have to split this room up somehow. Like, I have to figure out a floor plan on how everything's going to get uh, sorted out and stuff. So, you know, potentially, you know, in reality, I'm probably just going to have to fill this in anyway. So there's not going to be much of a view and more of a, hey, we're just kind of going upstairs type of um, ordeal here. Which doesn't look super bad, but it's not exactly what I pictured. Um, what I kind of pictured was, is, you know, you had a, a top section where you could actually um, look down and see what's going on. And I'm sure this staircase will look a lot better after and i need to bring more light and color into the build and i'm thinking that it's going to be really difficult to actually to be really difficult to actually like light this entire place up and have it efficient with just torches um, and the fact that the fact of it is it's going to be kind of insane to expect all of this to be lit up and decorated kind of nicely with just torches so i need to either find an alternative to that that's in a survival thing or i guess i need to ask permission from my community that watches this if i'm allowed to actually use developer lights uh, if you guys don't know what that is it's uh essentially a visible light so like all over spawn it's how it's how we get light in areas that you don't want torches you know you 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 don't want to be able to see the torches or you don't want to be able to see you know all that this that and the other and it lets you control the light a little bit on top of when you're in survival it doesn't actually affect anything so I mean, for example we can just go warps really quick all right apparently caps does not work with that so uh fair warning warps and then we can head to spawn and if you, you notice all these light sources, but you don't see torches. So if I hopped into creative really fast and I went to operator utilities and I held one of these, these lights, you can start to see where all these lights are and they have no effect to you. Well, hell, they don't really have an effect for you in creative um, unless you're actually holding them and then they eventually disappear into nothingness and I could literally build right on top of them and it wouldn't make a difference. So let me know what you guys think. I know this was a short video. Thank you for watching. And I'm trying my best to get this house done so we can move on to more, I would say entertaining content because for me, if I'm thinking about building content, I'm thinking of a guy in creative and I'm doing this in survival as best I can. Um, and that's all possible due to the server shop and diamonds. So I'm using my my server's in-game currency to buy materials for this instead of spending a long time to actually make stuff. So if you guys haven't seen the shop, I'll show that to you really fast before we end the episode. Um, but diamonds are the currency and diamonds and nether ending. It's, and you can buy pretty much just about anything you need on the server. You know, depends on what it is. Obviously, depends on the price. Like we got, you know, two diamonds for gravel and three for different things. And so, you know, I do have to do some grinding, but that's just to find diamonds. And I'm able to bulk buy materials for the projects, you know? So it makes it a little bit easier for me for being burnt out because like Minecraft's all about digging and placing, right? So mining for diamonds is not the most enjoyable thing but it's at least better than mining for every single material that i need in the world to do a simple project so thank you guys for watching i will see you guys in the next one i'm going to do a lot of off-camera work because i know this problem the video is probably not going to do very well because it's 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 just one set thing in survival too so i'm going to try to get the the house complete or near complete before the next episode airs we can actually go do some more fun stuff.